Welcome to Batters Up, with Kojak, and now your host, Kojak. Welcome to the Motor City. This is Comerica Park, interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Eric Skubel. Well, this guy lives and dies with his slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, you know, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit, works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add a little velocity in terms of perception when guys are used to seeing that off-speed pitch. When it's right, really tough to hit. Even if you guess it's coming, because it's breaking two planes, horizontal and vertical. And here it comes. Got it by him for the K. And now it's William Contreras. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, there's the strike. That's Next pitch ball. misses. Yeah, that's ball two. two ball. That's a really One good strike. take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. That's towards center. Meadows settles underneath it. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around uh, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Swings and misses, struck him out. Brewers go down quietly, and now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park, and on the hill in this one, Freddy Peralta. What do you have on him? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. And now the center fielder, Parker Meadows. That one ripped. This one's got a chance. And that is gone. He blasts one out to right, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. 
He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, Boog. He squared it up and knew it was gone. Spencer Torkelson digs in now. Now fly ball to right center. Taylor moving under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to... And that one is lifted in the air. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. One down. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. I'm washing out down, try to dread, but it's a waste of time. In the end, you thought that you could win. Don't bother to rebuild. So one out, nobody on. And next up for the Tigers, Matt Veerling. Out towards right center field. Freilich has a beat on it. And there's two down. And up next for Detroit, Andy Abanya. And that one lifted in the air center field. Freilich has a beat on it. Makes the catch inning over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top of the second. Here's Mark Canna. The why to kick the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. They're off to a great start. Three-run lead after their first inning, but so important to be airtight defensively. Don't give away hey. extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ballgame. So now one and two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Three. Set down on strikes. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. And stepping in is the speedy Sal Fralick. There's a strike. And that's outside. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, 
he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone and essentially the guy's earned it the umpire rolls with them no trouble here puts it away for the out two down two outs base is empty Willie Adamas stands in one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two down, nobody on. And hey. down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nobody left for Milwaukee. They trail it here, three nothing. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a speed threat, Akil Badu. Peralta back to work. First pitch swinging, saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Hard hit to third. And a couple of quick outs. So two down now, and here is Jake Rogers. Swung on, belted. Back there. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. So the lineup flips over at the play. Parker Meadows. He hit a leadoff homer in the bottom of the first. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Left-hand hitter waits. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Fraley pulls that one down, and that is that. So they welcome back. Here's Josh Donaldson. The pitch. Early in his career with Oakland, with Donaldson struggling, he watched a lot of video on Miguel Cabrera and Jose Bautista. A's people didn't like it. They said, be yourself. He said, well, I stink, and I need to figure out why they're good. Yeah, I love that, and you got to figure it out no matter what it takes. Well, he became good, and it is two and one. One strike. That's through there for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Comes a 2 2. And now the count filled up 3 and 2. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Meadows moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Batting it. The second this base. is Bryce Terang. Terang. That Aye. one's in there, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Struck 
him out without a swing. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now, Tyrone Taylor. That one catches the corner for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Next one offering ball. misses. Two ball strike. one. That one 95 to finish him off. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still down, three nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the second baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And the right hander back to work. This to center field. Freilich has a beat on it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Now batting. The designated hitter. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera doubled his first time up. Peralta, 26 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is gone. He powers one out to right field, and they boost their lead. It's 4 nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now Matt Veerling into center. Freeling puts it away. That is the inning. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started, and now it's Christian Yelich. The pitch. And misses well, inside. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty. Hey. And strike two. Stays alive. The pitch. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Contreras now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Next offering is foul back. The Brewers still looking for their first hit in this one. That's hard hit on the line. Carpenter calls it in two away. Two outs, bases empty. Up now for Milwaukee, Carlos Santana. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. 
was my wrist and my hand. On the ground, right side, and it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second, and that rolls into the corner. And that's a two-out double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So... He's under it at first, and that'll do it. Milwaukee leaves one. They're down 4 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman. Abanez. Peralta back to work. In the air, center field. Freilich has a beat on it. One away. Akil Badu will hit next. 0 for 1 so far. And that one fouled off. There's a swing and a drive. Taylor moving back. Still going back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, I love that yeah. route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get oh, back yeah. to the track right away. Turned his back oh, yeah. on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. In the air, left field. Canna on his way over. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ready now for the fifth inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Sal Fralick. And the pitch. Strike one. Oh, well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Well, these Brewers just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. And now here is Willie Adamas. Fought off foul. You won. And ball one. There's the swing and a miss. One ball, two straight. The line of the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. Struck him out looking. Oh, man. Just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box. And it clearly was not that pitch. And it's fouled away. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. On the ground. Over to first. Out. That's the third out. Gone in order are the Brewers. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here now Four here's the Detroit Tigers. catcher, Jake the Rogers. Jake. Rogers. The pitch. 
And it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. All over that one right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time. Trevor McGill gets the call from the pen. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Canna going back on this one. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Up next to the and at first, the stepping in, reason. Spencer Torkelson. In the air, out towards right center. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Now it's going to be Miguel Cabrera, one for two. Now fly ball to right center. Freilich after it. Makes the grab on the run. Runners tagging from second and third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and the lead is up to five. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Now, Perry Carpenter now at the plate. And fouled off. And he'll one. Lifted in the air right center field. Freilich running hard to get it. Long run. Nice grab. And that is. Back at Comerica Park. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Bryce Terang. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Here comes a pinch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And a pinch. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And now one away. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound.
And welcome back. Bottom of the six. Now the third baseman, Matt Veerling. McGill back to work. That's ripped. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now Andy Abanez. Line drive. Base hit right center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Next to hit, Akil Badu. And that one pulled foul. Veerling at third. Devonez on at first with nobody out. Left field. Canna in position. And he makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. He scores on the sack fly. And it's now a six-run lead. Now it's Javier Baez. Not your time. Javier. Baez. Line drive, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now the batter now, Jake Rogers. Well struck left field. That ball's carrying. And that one's gone. He'll touch them all. And they tack on to their lead. It's 9-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Wilson taking over on the mound. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 10-0. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So digging in, Spencer Torkelson. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Contreras makes the grab, two down. Now that the designated hitter. And now the DH, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera. Cabrera measures six feet four inches, 265 pounds, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. In the air out to center, Freilich has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 10 zip.
We go to the top of the seventh. Leading off, William Contreras. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Fouled off down the right side. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. In the air to left, down the line. And there's two away. Now batter. Left and the batter now, Mark Canna. And pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. And a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. That ball. misses the zone. It's a ball and two One strikes. Ball, two strikes. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Brewers go down quietly. Not looking good. They're down 10-0. And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Freilich has a beat on it. Pulls it in for the out. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And now, Matt Veerling, one for three. Fly ball to right. Taylor snags it for the second out. A little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Center field. Freilich has a beat on it. Brings it in for the third out. Down in order, go to top. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it's going to be Sal Freilich. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Willie Adamas, the next to hit. for two and a pair of strikeouts. And here comes the Tigers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. New pitcher now, Alex Lang. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Swings oh, through that one. 0-1. Oh, Swing and a miss as he was out front. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. 
Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Donaldson in the box now. No balls and a strike. Fraley, the base runner at first with one out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. Bryce Terang. First offering misses the mark. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next offering is down low. And it's 3 and 0. No strike. And ball 4 to a board. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't the even right much field, to think about. 15. Now it's the right Tyrone. fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. Swing and a foul straight back. Ball in one now. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop up. Devonyes drifts towards it. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Tigers 10 and the Brewers nothing. Bottom of the eighth, and here is Akil Badu. The left fielder. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Taylor going back. Back some more, and it's off the wall. Plays the plate, and he's out. He tried for the inside to Parker, and he couldn't make it. The batter now, Javier Baez. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. In the air, out towards right center. Taylor ranging after it. Snags it on the run. Two down. The catcher, number 30. Two outs, base is empty. And next up for the Tigers, Jake Rogers. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field. Pretty well struck. Bangs off the wall. And he's got to double his fourth hit. One of the rarest feats in baseball and history made here today. Huge congrats to him. And we maybe only see this once or twice a year in the majors. It takes a hot bat, a little bit of luck, and of course, a lot of talent. Special to be a part of it, even as broadcasters up here in the booth. So the batting order turns over, and here's the Tiger leadoff man, Parker Meadows. Swing and a ball popped up. Terang under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Tigers leave one. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Christian Yelich. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. That one missing inside. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. That one in for a strike two and two. 
And here it comes. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. Here's the 2 2. And another ball. Tried to check his swing there. Appealed a third. Nope, he held back. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. That's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is fouled back. Yelich aboard here at first with nobody out. Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Santana in the box here lets that one go for a ball. No one, no strike. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Right-hander kicks deals. And hey. this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. At the belt and fires. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now here is Mark Canna. Mark. Canna. New pitcher for the Tigers, Eduardo Rodriguez. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. That one catches the zone. Strike one. is the ball game. Well, we saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. Ten zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shabby saying so long.
The following has been a Kojak 313 gaming production. Distributed by Recom, a division of the Reese Design Group. Recom. Kojak.